Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us. My name is Kathy Boone, and I am the host of It's Time to Travail. This is a special, special, special edition, for real, a special edition. And so you guys know that we normally come on on Fridays, but on this evening, I really wanted to introduce you to Kimberly Joy and one of the cast members of her play, Sherry Roper. And so what I normally do is I go ahead and um, I normally read your bio, your, or read your bio, and I usually print it, but there was so many things going on. Like even my computer didn't want to work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is this? So there is definitely something going on. So let me go ahead and read her bio, everybody. And again, thank you so much for joining us. Um, so, um, so the Kimberly Joy Show. For most of her adult life, Kimberly Joy has been ministering the gospel of Jesus Christ through pre teaching and preaching. However, she believes that ministering goes beyond the pulpit. Kimberly is a radio personality and she can be heard every Friday at 4.15 and on Saturdays at 6 p.m. on Cincinnati's inspirational 10.50 a.m. and 103.1 FM WGRI and, and on, the, on the Kimberly Joy Show. Remember that, the Kimberly Joy Show. So Kimberly uses Bible verses, everyday examples, and music to enlighten and inspire her listening audience to know who they are in God, to be who they are unapologetically, and to love themselves wholeheartedly. An actress, Kimberly's acting projects include the gospel stage plays, I'm Not My Mama, At the Cross, I Loved You on Purpose, The Best Gift Ever, Her Heart's Desire, Who Told You, What a Woman Wants, Will a Man Rob God, and Should Have Been a Better Man, and Nothing But that 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 dog in me and after after you've tried everything try god and someone to love me she is also featured in the independent film broken pieces and a lesson learned a writer kimberly has her own personal blog which is also titled the kimberly joy show a playwright as well as well, she has written stage plays, I'm Not My Mama, and Root and, and, and Planted Roots. Soon, she will be adding books to her writing collection. And in addition, Kim's edits and writes blogs and books for others, okay? Including serving as one of the editors for the autobiography, God Knows the Why That I Take. And for the and for the memoirs, discovering God's priceless gems, my amazing assignment, both written by Pearly I Egley um, Forrest, and which can be found on Amazon.com. A native of Cincinnati, Ohio, Kimberly holds a bachelor's degree in English education from Miami University, Ohio, and a master's degree in school in school counseling from the University of Cincinnati. So everybody, again, please welcome to It's Time to Travail, um, Kimberly Joy, and one of the cast members um, from I'm Not My Mama, Sherry Roper. So yay, welcome ladies. Can I get a whoop whoop and a bam, okay? Yes, yes. <laughs> And so, okay. and so the play is going to be starting this weekend. Is that correct? Yes, it's this Saturday at five o'clock. Doors open at 430. And you can, and if you're not, you can also um, buy tickets to watch it online as well, if I'm not mistaken. And um, I, I know I'm going to be buying a ticket because I want to see this play. I'm not my mama. And so we know <laughs> like that, but that's some things that people will be like, this is what some people would say. You act just like your mama. 
You act just like your mama. I'm like, I might look like my mama, but I don't act like her. Because <laughs> we all have our own personalities. And of course, like we, we're, we do have a tendency to copy what we, emu- what we see, we emulate what we see, but we still have our own personalities. And so that's important. So tell me about this play, I'm Not My Mama. Okay, well, the, the play it is um, based on the character that I portray, uh, Terry Stevens. Um, she is on the outside, on the outside, she is um, very successful. She has her own business. Um, she makes a lot of money. Um, she lives in her dream home. Uh, she has, you know, a uh, brand name clothes, shoes. Um, she has a husband, a son. And she just looks like she has everything together. But what the audience is going to see is that she is slowly unraveling because of things that took place in her past, particularly in her her childhood, that she never got over. She thought that if she just went out and, and pursued education and pursued money, that that would take care of it. And then she could forget about what happened in the past. But but we all know that mm-hmm. you really can't move on until you are healed. And so here she is going through life. She looks like on the outside, she's like she has everything together, but on the inside, she is messed up. Mm-hmm. And so that's pretty much the gist of it. And so you're gonna see what happens. <laughs> so it sounds, it sounds like a story that we've all lived before. Like there are just, I think everybody, there's something in everybody's past. We all have issues, but coming to a place of healing, getting the deliverance that we need. And then even um, in experiencing all of that, you can become your authentic self. And so you have, you have, okay, you have this, this, this quote that you say, be yourself, know yourself. And what, what is it? Be yourself. It is, it is know yourself, know yourself, be yourself, love yourself. And mm-hmm. I'm able to say that now because I have, I've gone through so much inner healing that I can truly say that now. Um, and, and, and as I mentioned, the purpose of like my radio show, and in fact, I'm writing my first book, I'm, I'm working on that right now. And doing plays is to encourage people to really get to know who you are by getting to know God, by developing a personal mm-hmm. relationship with them, because that's the only way you're going to come to find out who you really are is by getting to know your creator. And then, and then once you come to know who you are, then be that, be who you are. Don't try to be like anyone else. As you mentioned, be your authentic self. Yes. And then yes. love you. Know yes. that you're good enough. If God loves you, then why wouldn't you love yourself? Yes. And so it took me a long time to get to that, to, to be able to declare that and to declare it with confidence. And so now I want to share that with others. I want to inspire others to just come up, recognize who you are in God. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes. And I'm not just talking about the outside, mm-hmm. but first on the inside, yes. you are special. Because God says so. He he took the time to make you. Yes. That alone makes you special. I I concur. I concur. Um, just coming to a place of your authentic self. And so this is something that I, I say is when you tell God who he is, he will tell you who you are. And he mm-hmm. will literally um, tell you why you were created. And yeah. And that's like, just having that relationship is so amazing. It's so amazing. And so for, for me, people who, um, who don't embrace that are not embracing themselves. They have so many inner questions. Um, they don't, they are not truly embracing themselves and it's so freeing. Like it's so liberating. Yes. So Sherry, Uh Tell me how you got involved in the play and tell us a little bit about the character that you play. 
Well, as we were speaking about um, five minutes ago, I met Kimberly and Sylvia around I think 2019, I believe, um, at the place he told you. And then we met a couple of times to promote that play. Um, and then I was asked to be casted in Who Told You? And they presented it at World of Life Ministry Christian Center, the church that I attend. And that was successful. And then Kimberly said that God wanted me to play in another play of hers called Planet Roots. And so we were preparing for that. And of course, then last year, the pandemic hit. And so everything was shut down due to that. And then she said, God wanted her to bring, um, I'm not my mother back, my mama. And so it was a one woman show. And that was really awesome. She did a phenomenal job on a one woman show with that one. And so she added um, the receptionist and the counselor in and the security guard. And so I am playing Kat. And Kat, um, she's like, to me, a babe in Christ. Um, so she's still growing in the Lord. And she got a little spunk to her, a little sass, you know. So she's going to be um, a trip. She's going to be funny. So she's like a working progress. She's interesting. You know what? I, I'd be like, oh, we got a Peter Renner on our hands, I see. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> real right raw. on the button. Yeah, just real and raw. And, you know, just coming yeah. in, becoming into knowing who you are. And so it's a process for all of us. It's yes. a process for all of us. And so again, I, I mean, I just really appreciate um, you guys stopping by and um, like, just tell us maybe about some of the other characters that's in the play, Kimberly. Okay, well, we have, because as she mentioned, this started out as a, as a one woman show. And one morning I was, I was still lying in bed. Um, sometimes God will speak to me. He'll show me things before I even get up. And so he said, it's time to bring Dr. Monica to life. Because when I did it as a one woman show, uh, Dr. Monica, who is my therapist, was invisible, base, invisible basically. And so he said, it's time to bring her to life. And uh, so I sat down at the computer and just began adding to the script. And then I was praying and, and trying to figure out who would be good to play Dr. Monica. And I decided to ask Sylvia. And I knew she would hesitate because she prefers being in the background, <laughs> but I, I knew that she was capable of doing it. And so she, she agreed to do it. And so I'm excited. And we also have Mark Ward who is playing the security guard, Tim. And then we, and so there are really only four characters Mm -hmm. And then later on in the second half of the play, um, we're going to have the prophetic mind ministry. They're going to minister um, as part of the play. And so, and also during intermission, um, Kevin and Janae will be singing as well as blessed. And Kathy, you remember blessed. Yes, I did singing. my baby. <laughs> oh, yes. And so it's going to be a phenomenal show. And I've been praying and, and just praising God and believing that he is going to get the glory because that's why I'm doing this. God called me to do this. This is, this is my ministry or part of my ministry. And so I'm believing for God to really minister to the people that will be in that audience, as well as those who will be watching online. And so I just think it's an opportunity, like sometimes when you see see somebody else going through, you can begin to question even yourself like, okay, maybe I need to, you know, start moving forward. Okay, maybe it's time for me to maybe see a counselor or get that inner healing that I need as well. So it's, it's, um, it's a way to bring to someone consciousness that you don't have to stay where you are. Right. Absolutely. 
Yeah, Absolutely. that's that's what I'm gathering. Like it's an opportunity to have people open up their mind and open up their heart to even receive healing. Like you're not alone. We all go through things and we all experience things. But when we come to that place of, all right, it's time. Okay, I really, I can't run, I can't hide because you're, and I can't move to another city because I'm, a, I'm still going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> true <laughs> because I'm still going to be there and so it just sounds like an amazing opportunity to even witness to yes. people for real yes. that's what it sounds that's what it sounds like to me so what is the one part in the play that you play like what is the one scene in the play that you love the most? <laughs> oh, Sherry already knows. <laughs> I don't want to give it away, but uh, I see, I get to act up. No. But for some reason, I like playing characters in which I get to act up. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't know why. Those tend to be my favorite characters. I guess because that's not really who I am. Maybe that's my alter ego. I don't know. But <laughs> there's a scene where I'm going to act up. And I don't want to say any more. But okay. just, yeah, be ready. Okay. <laughs> All right. You're going to bring it up. <laughs> you be like, I am not the, I'm not the one. Okay. I'm not. The, I, am, I am not her. <laughs> <laughs> so what about you, Sherry? So in the part that you play, like, what is one of your most favorite lines? With, with, with you being rough, a little, wait a minute, real and raw. I ain't gonna even say, yeah, real and raw. I ain't even gonna say rough. I'm just gonna say real and raw. <laughs> yeah, I'm like Kimberly. I don't want to give it away, but it's a certain part in there. It's like, okay, I am not converted. You know, you know, you can give your life to Jesus, but your soul is not fully converted. <laughs> Okay, okay. Still got some residue still You're there. You're work in progress. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we bounce off of each other. Oh. Iron sharpens iron. <laughs> yes. Yes. But I think I think I don't care how safe you are. There can be those moments in your life when you, when you just express yourself in pain or in hurt, and yes. we are not above or beneath anybody and so right. just real life experiences and that's one of the great things about forgiveness yeah. um i'm i'm learning to walk away and not say things when i'm hurt or angry i'd rather be right. quiet and then that way i don't have to come back and and apologize so Correct. somebody um has um some um I'm trying to think of this scenario, like somebody had told me that um, I do too much or you don't have to do all of that. Or mm -hmm. um, I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? And I had to walk away a little bit like, mm -hmm. hmm, where's mm -hmm. that coming right. from? Where's that coming from? And I was like, okay, right. Holy Spirit, how, how do I respond to this? And so he mm -hmm. said, tell the person that you can't, they're going to have to come up to where you are because you've already been where they, where they are right now. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. don't make me feel like just because I'm moving forward and I want um, different things for myself. Like don't make, don't try and attempt to make me feel uncomfortable because that's because you are. Right. Right. Absolutely. Right. And yeah. so, and I think in knowing yourself and being your authentic self, you're okay with, with who you are. Yeah. And so we all have work to do. Um, yeah. So we, we're where we are because we worked on ourselves. Yes. Like yeah. It was, it was yes. a work, it's a work in progress. Yes. Yeah. So I say it's, it's, um, we're becoming. Like it doesn't have, like literally it takes work to be righteous. It's, yeah. it's, it's oh, easy. Yeah. 
it's easy to make, you know, these little snappy decisions that I'm going to do what I'm, I'm, I'm going to do what I want right. to do when I want right. to do it. I don't know who, I'm, wait a minute, I'm auditioning Kim, Kim Kimberly, I'm auditioning. <laughs> yeah, I, I know this, I know this. <laughs> <laughs> but it's work and it's literally making decisions and making choices to be better and do better on purpose. Yeah. And it's work. It is work because right. you, you're doing all the, like you're, you could be accustomed to something and to move out of that. Yeah. It could be uncomfortable, but you have to move forward if you truly want to be the person that you desire to be or want to be. Yes. And we're all a work in progress. We are all becoming. And don't think we can't get a little real and ratchet in, in a, you know, in a certain situation because I'm, I'm not above that. I'm not beneath it either. Like, excuse you. (laughs) (laughs) But I am learning how to not, I'm learning. Like, this still could happen. You know what I mean? Like in a a given moment. And when I'm hurt and when I'm angry, in a given moment. And so even my prayers go out to Kirk Franklin and his family. Yes. And yes. so now every, it's yes. exposed and everybody in their business and that were things should have, with some things, you know, I came from there. You're like, you don't be telling everybody our business. You don't do that. You old don't, school, right. We, we old school. Like, you don't be telling everybody our business was going in this house, stay in this house, or like, it's just not other people's business. What, what happens in our home? Um, and it's right. not like we're hiding, like we're hiding, it's just being discreet. Like it ain't nobody business. Don't give them anything to talk about for real, for real. Like, cause that's what people do. Right. They talk, but they don't, they're not there and they don't know, they don't have all the details right. and they may not understand. So I have no, we have no right to judge. And so I, I do, I will ask everybody to lift him and his family in prayer. That's hard oh, yeah. when you oh, yeah. are out in the public. Yeah. Um, and then something like that happens, people will have a tendency to judge, but we don't have that right because we don't know their situation for real. Uh-huh. We don't and know I still love him. I don't you know. I, I still love, love him. Baby. You know? I was listening to his, his playlist today. Okay. You know? So yeah. I because to me he's and this just me, he's always been genuine, mm-hmm. you know, as far as I'm concerned. Mm-hmm. You know, and so even when he apologized on the Tamron Hall show. You know, he said, I know people are disappointed in me. He said, I'm disappointed in myself. You know, so it's like, we don't need to bash him. He's already bashing himself. Yeah. He doesn't need any, any extra condemnation. He's already doing it to himself. So like you said, I, I've already been praying for them. So I, I agree with you. Pray for him. Pray for his son. Because there's something going on there. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. We all have something. I yeah, mean, we it's just point blank what it is and it can happen to any one of us at any time if we are not careful that's just point blank what it is nobody is Jesus Christ like you said we are just becoming so I have love for all people and I really don't have a comment on it because that's their business Uh and I'll just keep them lifted up in prayer because at any given moment anybody mm-hmm. can flip if we are not careful Uh-oh. that's okay. just what it is so i got love for you yep me too don't get me crying because <laughs> i'm always <laughs> praying for people because i just go ahead and cry jeremiah <laughs> we are all human yeah and everything is not cupcakes and rainbows and people don't understand God doesn't look at us like that. He expects us to be genuine and real. Mm-hmm. It is human beings that put us on such a pedestal. And when you are out there in the public eye, the world is the one that's coming down. But I don't think so. God says not so. He's not condemning us. He already know what was going to happen before we was even born. So that incident with Kirk Franklin, It was already known by God before he was even created. That haven't stopped God from loving him or using him. Um, Come on. So I'm just, I just don't want to hear people comment 
because it's a lot going on in this world. And that's yeah. just a smith that don't even count with what's really going on. So I'm done with that one. Right. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. It's okay. Oh God, Lord. But, okay. but that's just it. But it's in those moments that most people cry out to God, help me. Oh, in yes. those hard them moments. Cause so we know that God will use anything and any situation but it's an opportunity. So um, crisis is an opportunity to get closer to God. Yeah. Even in, yes. with COVID, um, it's an opportunity to get closer to God. So I really feel like 2020 was a year of vision, of defining your vision. Like who, what do you want? What do you want to do with your life? Yeah. <laughs> what do you what do yeah. you want? Like are you give it, you know, and I wait a minute, he go when he go Campbell, you know, in that line in Shawshank redemption, you better get busy living or you gonna get busy die. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So yes. So it was an opportunity. It may have looked dim. It may have, and for a lot of people, it really was hard with the loss of family members, multiple family members, the loss of jobs, just like that's, that's a lot, but it's an still, it was an opportunity to really begin to focus on God because he's the only one that can truly give us the peace that we need. Oh, Glory. Mm, mm. Absolutely. Yeah. He is the mm. only one. He says, oh my, my peace, I leave with you. Just mm. ask. Just ask for it. Like, literally, I know what it's like to be without the, without the peace of God. Okay. Mm. Mm. And it's so, it's so different having that peace. And so my pastor, this is what my pastor said. She said, um, she used to drink. And so, the Holy Spirit told her to, um, every time she wanted to have a drink, to start praying. And now she has a, literally, she has a, a prayer mantle. And she, uh -huh. this is one of the things that she said. She said, um, praying, she, when she prayed and she, she ended up falling in love with the presence of God. Uh -huh. Woo. She ended up falling <laughs> in love with the presence of God, simply by having a conversation with him, simply by oh. talking to him, and him, him, like that's, but that's what he does. He wants us to commune with him and, oh, and when you're talking to him and you're crying and you're so, oh, you be like, and then all of a sudden you just feel his presence and then you just cry oh. all the more like, oh. mm. yes, I'm started. <laughs> You get you getting Sherry started. <laughs> Woo. Oh my God. Yeah. So you really don't have to be your mom. You really don't. You can be your own individual. And that the I believe that's what the play is all about. You coming into who God created you to be. Yeah. Whole, yes. confident, having yes. peace, having joy. You making decisions to define who you are for yourself. Because yeah. the world will be like, well, you need to do this and you need to do that and you need okay. to be this and you need to be that. No, you can think for yourself. How about Thank that? you. Oh you my God. Think oh my God. <laughs> for yourself. And as a king, and as a king, yes, we can decree and declare a thing and it will manifest and it will be established. Mm, in the kingdom. Oh my hey, God. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Woo. Mm, <laughs> my God from heaven. Oh, Abba Father. Okay. Okay. Uh, do, you, do you sing, do you sing, Sherry? Uh, <laughs> um, I sing a joyful noise, but I'm home alone. I sound oh, you ain't gonna, oh, you ain't gonna share one of them songs that be in your heart. Oh, Oh, don't get me started. Oh, okay. My voice is kind of cracked up now. But what's that? Um, I feel Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. I feel Jesus. 
in this place. Mm. Yes, my soul. Please. Okay, I can't. I, I said I get to go. I get to cry. It burns within me. Mm. I feel Jesus in this place. Okay. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Encore, encore, darling, encore. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So thank you. I appreciate that. So Kimberly, um, tell everybody um, how they can get tickets. Um, okay. Yeah. For those who are in the Cincinnati area, even if you live in Dayton, if you live in Kentucky, um, you can come in person. Um, tickets, you can um, call me at 513-417-0097. Um, you can also find me on PayPal or Cash App. Just look for the Kimberly Joy Show and you can purchase tickets in advance for $10. If you decide to wait and get the tickets when you come to the door, it'll go up to 15. Now, for those who want to watch online, just go to eventbrite.com and search for I'm not my mama. Or you can, you can call me 513-417-0097 and I will email you the link that you are to click on the day of the show and um, give you the address. It is at Power and Faith Ministries, 8120 Hamilton Avenue in Mount Healthy, Ohio. Zip code is 45231 and it is at the Hilltop Plaza. And so again, it will be this Saturday, March 20th at 5 p.m. Doors open at 4.30. And we are excited. Every time I think about it, y'all, I get more <laughs> and more excited. So, so thank you again, just like, thank you for coming on and sharing, like, um, power and faith are known for the, um, for arts and media. Um, they, they own that mountain. Okay. They, they, they rain, they rain on that mountain. Now you go, they just rain on that mountain. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> And so for that, I'm grateful. Um, tell Apostle, tell your mom I said hello. Give Sylvia. I sure and, will. And give Sylvia and Mark my love. And so you're going to have to write me apart. I'll just do, I'll just do something for something for 10 minutes and just be me or something by myself, talk, talking to the mirror, talking out with a cup of coffee, something, something, do something for a sister. <laughs> we can make that happen. Okay, cool. I don't work. I'll, I would love that. Really. I would, I would really, really enjoy that. So, um, I usually invite people to the Lord, but I'm going to ask Kimberly that you do that on this evening, is that if somebody wanted to give their life to the Lord, um, just if you can walk them through that process, I would really, really appreciate it. Sure. Romans 10 and 9 says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And I will speak personally for me. That, that inviting Jesus into my heart, into my life was the best decision I ever made. It reminds me of that old song by uh, Reverend James Cleveland. Jesus is the best thing that has ever happened to me. Is life perfect? No, because we live in an imperfect world. But because I'm walking with the Lord, <laughs> even when I go through things, I have peace, I have joy, I can cry out to him at any given moment. He will, he will show me what to do as I'm going through. So if you are ready, and I hope you are, if you are ready to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and also 1 John 1 and 9 says that if we, confess, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, because that's why Jesus died. He died in our place so that we so that we won't have to be destroyed for eternity. 
but instead we can be saved and go to heaven when we leave this earth. So if you are ready to, to walk away, to turn your back on the life of sin and, and invite Jesus into your heart, then I want you to repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I, be I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you were buried. I believe you were buried. And I believe you rose again so I can be free. And I believe you rose again so I can be free. Jesus, please forgive me for my sins. Jesus, please forgive me for my sins. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. And save me, Jesus. And save me, Jesus. Heal me, Jesus. Heal me, Jesus. Deliver me, Jesus. Deliver me, Jesus. And I will serve you forever. And I will serve you forever. Now can, oh, are you finished? No, go ahead. <laughs> Can I get a woo woo bed of bail? Oh, glory to God. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. Mm. Uh -oh. Hallelujah. Glory. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm. It's exciting. People don't know how amazing it is. Like, it's good. It's, it's good. It's so good, y'all. Yes, it is. Oh, Jesus. It's, so it's so good. Hallelujah. Mm. I was I'm about to be like Sherry. Woo. Woo. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Thank yes, you, God. Lord. Yes, God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Woo. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh my God. That is thank what you, this Lord. is all about. I thank you, Kathy Boone, because that is what this is all about. To tell the world about Jesus. Ooh. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Yes. Ooh, it's a God. It is. Hallelujah. Ooh. Thank you, Kathy. You're welcome, baby. Thank you so much for coming on and blessing us. I love your spirit. I love your spirit too. And I, love, and I love that you love Jesus, girl. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's a good thing it's a good thing it's a great thing to be able to yes. love to love Ooh, yes. mm. so we are getting ready to go so i'm going to put up the flyer um you will okay. have kimberly's information um, i'll put up the um, if you can email me the eventbrite information i'll post that to the page and I am going okay. to be there tomorrow. Um, I don't. I'm going. I'm going to be seeing what's going on. Like, I need to know I, what's going on. But I'm not my mama. Did I say it good? I'm not my mama. <laughs> did, you say, did you say tomorrow? No, you it's say tomorrow. Did you? It's Saturday. Okay, I thought you said tomorrow. Okay, oh, yes, well, Saturday. I'm sorry. I could have. I could have said tomorrow, but it's on. It's on Saturday, everybody. It's on Saturday. All right, so we were yes. we are gonna we are gonna be we gonna watch the play on Saturday. <laughs> are you, so are people can also um, go to a physical location at um, Power and Faith, and it's tell them where it's located again. Eight one two zero Hamilton Avenue, um, in Mount Healthy, Ohio, at the Hilltop Plaza. Okay. Okay. Well, all right, everybody. Um, as always, I love you to life. That Zoe life, it comes from Ephesians 3 and 20, that God will bless you exceedingly, abundantly above what you can ask, think, or imagine according to the power that worketh in us. And that is the power of the Holy Spirit. Good night, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Thank I you appreciate you. your distance. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs>